Can I give you a hand? Oh, yeah. What? You, you scared me a little bit. Excuse me? I, uh... You want to give me a hand? No. You just asked me. Well, those boxes, they're cluttering the front entrance. You're going to have to move them. Oh, yeah. Sure, no problem. Uh, just want to bend over and give me a hand lifting this couch. In your dreams, buddy. In your dreams. Welcome to Robson Arms. Uh, just bring your hand around here, Andrew. Good. Oh, I think we can uh, handle it from here, Stanley. Uh, just watch out for those boxes. I don't want you twisting your ankle. He'll do anything for breakfast in bed. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, my God. Look at this espresso machine. Yeah, I'd offer you guys a cup, but uh, Chris is the only one who knows how to hook it all up. Chris? Uh, yeah, my partner. Oh, where's Chris now? Uh, on tour, stage managing the touring company at Cabaret. Really? And how long? Uh, let's see, the third degree until after Chris looks up the espresso machine. <laughs> Subtle. But listen, we would love to have you guys over. Until then. You uh, need help with these boxes? Oh, no. I'm fine. Thank you, though. Uh, thanks, guys. See ya. Well, it's going to be like a physio center. It's going to be a chiropractor, a physiotherapist, a an acupuncturist, and uh, me, Mr. Dressup. Andrew seems nice. Hmm? Andrew, he seems like a nice fellow. Uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have another gay couple in the building. Oh, I don't know. Whenever too many of us get together in the same area, everything gets fabulous and rents go up. He's very good looking. What's that supposed to mean? So you were saying about this physio center? Are you jealous? Should I be? Stanley, it was once. Just once, that's all. So where is this place? It's, uh... It's a great little building off Denman. Off Denman? Yeah, I know, not cheap. But it's the right area. There's two gyms in the neighborhood, a high-end spa. Why can't you keep working on up here like you've been doing? Well, I don't want to keep working from home. I mean, it's not fair to you. I don't mind. Sometimes it feels like I never get out of here. So how much is this going to cost me? <sighs> Jeff. No, no. You know what? You're right. Who am I kidding? I can't even pay my portion of the rent. I keep telling you, you don't have to pay. An engineer makes a little more than a massage therapist. Yeah, you don't have to keep telling me.
Howdy, neighbor. Hey. I uh, wasn't sure if your machine was hooked up yet. Oh, great. Yeah, I know. Chris is still on tour. I'm just going out of my mind trying to unpack all this stuff. When are you expecting him back? What's that? When's Chris getting back? Probably about five minutes after I unpack the last box. Well, uh, let me help you unpack. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. Hey. Or, yeah, sure. It'd be great. Trust me. I have mad organizing skills. Oh, yeah? Well, don't make any judgments about what you might find in there, OK? Uh, too late. Shania? Hmm. Chris's. Mandy seen Broadway. <laughs> that is Chris's for sure. Sorry. <laughs> Wait a second. Images in Vogue? Hey, I mean, we all did stuff in high school that we're not very proud of, OK? Oh, really? That is probably Chris. Oh, you, you know what? Maybe I should go and just let you oh, two. Oh, uh... silly! Hang out. I want you guys to meet. Okay. Hey, he's been helping me unpack, and he was saying some stuff about your CD collection. So, <laughs> Jeff, like you meet Chris. Chris, this is Jeff. It's great to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hey, you. Hi. Good trip. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you, too. I'm serious, Stanley. It really freaked me out. I can see that, but I don't see why you have to take it out on the Romaine. I don't know what I was expecting. What the hell does a stage manager look like? Glasses wouldn't be out of place. He called her his partner. What are you getting so upset about? So Andrew is straight. Why should you care? Unless... What? No. Hey, look, the point is, I don't believe Andrew is straight, and neither do you. Whether I do or not doesn't matter. It looks like Andrew has made up his mind, so... It's an affront to gay men and women everywhere. I'm not affronted. Well, you should be. This is the 21st century, Stanley. People don't have to live like that anymore. Things haven't changed that much. They've changed enough. Look, other people are... When I was young, I wasn't waiting for other people. I had trouble enough accepting myself. What is this? It's a down payment for your thingy. Thank you. Maybe I went to one of those straightening camps. Uh, don't even joke about it. I don't know. I can't even... Hello, breakfast. Oh, my God. Hands off. I saw him first. It's him. Who him? I thought you said he was gay. He is? No, he's not. My gay door's in power. Um, please don't say that. Are you offended? No, just embarrassed. Well, I knew you were gay the first minute I saw you. Yeah, so would a blind man. I don't care what you say. Hold this. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going in. He does have a girlfriend or a partner or whatever, too, though, right? Whatever. A girl can't catch a break either way in this town. Packy Hillsboro is a pack of sea cell batteries. I mean, for the night. Hey, Jeff. Uh, Andrew. See you later, Jeff. Bye bye. How are you and the missus settling in? We're good. <clears throat> I, uh, just picking out my porn. Nothing a single guy like me enjoys more than pictures of naked women. Ooh, trying something new this week, Yuri. Well, what's that? Uh, that's not mine. Mm. Do you guys hear that? Yeah, th that's my phone. I'm gonna have to get that. <clears throat> Glad I ran into you. Oh, yeah? Chris finally got the espresso machine hooked up. I'm wondering if you and Stanley would like some more for dinner. Uh, or not, if you're busy. Don't worry about it. Take a rain check. Oh, no. No, no, of course not. You know, gay men, we live for dinner invitations. <laughs> well, how's Thursday? Great. Perfect.
<laughs> Love your haircut, Andrew. Thanks. <laughs> Very Tom Cruise. And the way you dress. Don't, um, don't pay any attention to him. Like a young Kevin Spacey. Oh. <laughs> I agree with Stanley. I think Drew has a true movie star quality to him. Oh, Chris. <laughs> he does. Like Rock Hudson. Why don't I, um, open the wine we brought? Oh, sure, yeah. There's a corkscrew and some wine glasses on a tray in the kitchen. Okay. Why don't you give me a hand? Okay. What are you talking about? Stanley? Come on, I'm just having a little fun. Hey, shh, don't. I don't have any fun. You need to play. Christine, love these wine glasses. Oh, yes, they were a gift from Drew. They were actually props from the production that we were both working on when we met. I was, uh, I was working backstage and Drew was... In the chorus line. <laughs> no, no. He was, he was working in the back offices. I'm a professional fundraiser. And what was the production you were working on? Cat on a hot tin roof? <laughs> Wine, everybody? Yeah, please. Uh, more? Oh, no, I'm fine. So Andrew tells me that you're a massage therapist? Yep, -er. Oh, Stanley, you're so lucky. There's so many times I come home from work and I would just die for a massage. I don't know. It's probably cheaper to pay for it than put one on retainer. I think that's enough. Oh, wow. Is it? And there's plenty in Andrew's glass, too. <laughs> so do you know what's going on with the building? No idea. It's all up in the air. Everybody's just taking it a month at a time. Now, that's such a shame. You know, it's such a nice spot. Parks are so close. Do you know what the schools are like nearby? Schools? They're awful. You try to get anywhere at 8 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon, it's just uh, traffic. Chris wants to know if they're good schools. You do. <laughs> For babies, darling. Babies. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Not yet, no, but <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> Can I take this? Oh, sure. I'm just gonna clear some of this stuff away here. Hey, you know, let me help. Um, why, why don't you show Stanley some of your posters? I mean, she's got all these old posters of all these old theaters, and Stanley loves all that old stuff. <laughs> Love to. You all right? Yeah. I'm in a gay old time. Yeah. Try some dishes. Thinking of having a baby, huh? Well, thinking about it. It's a big step. Yeah, yes it is. I mean, of course I'm worried about it a little bit, but, you know, I figure who's 100% sure about anything, right? Whoa, Jeff. I can't think how sad this is making me. What? Can I tell you just one thing? Yeah, of course. someone out of the closet. I know. Especially if you don't even know if they're in one. Look, it's just... When they began talking about starting a family, I had to stop them from making a terrible mistake. Really? I just wanted them to avoid putting themselves through all that pain and denial. 
It's gonna end badly, Stan. What? That's what everyone said about us. No. We were too different, we had nothing in common, it would never last. It's not the same thing at all. You're right. Thank you. Andrew isn't running around trying to seduce some guy while his partner is in the next room. I wasn't. I'm sorry. You said things weren't gonna be like that with us. They're not. You say that, but... I can't take this. The check? It feels too much like... It's not. I know. You said you... I know. I just want you to be happy. You gave me this check to make me happy and keep me with you. Now, come on, Jeff. I don't want you and me to be like that. I don't want to be that man. What is it, Yuri? Uh, my bad, my bad, I got it. Rough day? Uh, yeah, kind of. We haven't seen much of you since dinner the other night. No, I, uh... Andrew told me what happened. He did. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it, Jeff. It's only some glasses, right? Sure. I'm sorry about the glasses. I saw Chris the other day. Yeah, she told me. You didn't tell her what happened? No. Why not? Look, she's a really great person. Yeah, she is. I love her. I know you do. But you don't believe me. Andrew, I don't want to get it. You think you're the first guy who's ever come on to me? Do you? You think I don't know what you and your friends say about me? You think, you think for a second that Chris doesn't know? I don't think a person should waste their life living a lie. Oh. Oh, that's rich. That's rich coming from you. Well, I accept myself for who I am. Oh, what is that exactly? Some kept guy who goes around seducing strange men from time to time? I can't do apologize. That's why I'm here. Okay. Well, I have nothing to apologize for. We all make choices to lead the kind of life we want, and me, for as long as I can remember, all I ever wanted was a family. You know, wife, a couple of kids. I said, don't, this is... I'm not making a mistake.
Come on, come on, wherever you are, you know you are a star, you know you are a star. Come on, come on, wherever you are, you know you are a star to me. Don't let life get you down, times get tough, just play it clown. If you feel a little lost, that's because you're you. Come on, come on, wherever you are, you know you're a star to me. Come on, come on, wherever you are, you know you're a star to me. If you dance, you're bound to fall, let them laugh, they've got the call. That's because you're